Hey there, thanks for being here. Today's video is all about golf access homes for sale here in Cape Coral. You know, the average price for golf access homes here in Cape Coral in the last few months have been somewhere in the mid to high 700s. I think last month the median price was right at 775. So I figured I'd do a video and show you what that price looks like in each of the three quadrants that you can find golf access homes here in Cape Coral. So we're going to start out and see a house in the southeast, then we're going to go over to the southwest and finish up in my neighborhood in the northwest and make sure you stick around for that one because that one's a brand new construction home in the mid 700s i uh, can't wait to show you that one by the way if you don't know who i am my name is dustin guthrie uh, i'm a near 20 year real estate broker here in cape coral in southwest florida and i do a video like this every single week so if you're interested in southwest florida reach over and hit that subscribe button i think you'll get a lot out of these videos uh, i try to give you a lot of great information with these videos just because i know if i can do that uh, and give you some uh, really good value with these videos that uh, odds are you're going to think of me when you do need a realtor here in Southwest Florida. And my number's on the screen right there. It's also down in the description. You can call, text, or email me anytime. would love to hear from you and hear about your real estate goals. So with that being said, let's get right into this and let's start out in the south southeast corner of Cape Coral. This first home is in a great location close to Del Prado Boulevard in downtown Cape Coral. It's a three bedroom, two bath, concrete block construction home with a pool and a metal roof. It's actually off the market right now, but the tentative list price is $755,000, putting it on the lower side of the average golf access sale price in Cape Coral right now. This home is very clean and it's move-in ready, but the floor plan definitely shows the age of the home. This home was built in 1978, which is actually pretty typical for the southeast area of Cape Coral. is a little small but these are some nice updated cabinets and stainless appliances and it also has a convenient pass through out to the pool deck and we'll head out there in a second so this is a pretty typical layout for these 70s built homes the living spaces are kind of split into a separate living room and a family room which are on either side of the kitchen and then the open dining room is also right here off the kitchen and here we have the primary suite, which overlooks the pool deck and the waterfront. Okay, let's head outside and take a look at what this property is really all about. This is a really nice screened-in lanai. It has a good size shaded under truss portion with tile flooring and then the pool deck itself has these concrete pavers. Uh, the pool itself is heated for when you need it in the winter time and there's also convenient access out here to the guest bathroom so you don't have to track water through the house when you need to use it. Okay, so the waterfront and the golf access at this property is top notch and it's absolutely where the vast majority of this property's value comes in. First of all, we're close to open water here. It's probably only about five or 10 minutes by boat to get out of these canals. It's also on a really wide canal. This is about 130 feet wide, and this is unrestricted gulf access, meaning there are no bridges to go under to get out to open water. Uh, you can see one of the neighbors here can get that big sailboat mast in and out of this location. It's also important to note that in spite of being so close to open water, this home didn't experience any flooding when the storm surge from Hurricane Ian came through. So this house is actually not on the market right now. Uh, the unofficial list price is $755,000 for this property, so it puts it right in that range of that median sale price for the city of Cape Coral for golf access homes. And like most of the homes in the southeast section of Cape Coral, this home's a little bit older. This was built in 1979, and it's got uh, that older floor plan. It's got a, a few uh, updated features in here, which is nice, and it's certainly move-in ready, but it is a little bit on the dated side being a 1979 built home. You know, uh, that's pretty typical for the southeast section of Cape Coral. That was the first area to be developed starting in the 1950s. So we see a lot more older homes in the southeast versus the southwest and the northwest. And so 1979 is about average for the age of a home 
out here. And, but really the value here is the waterfront location. This waterfront location is absolutely top notch. It's unrestricted direct golf access, meaning there's no bridges to go under. You can have a nice big sailboat out there and uh, you're out to open water in about five minutes from here. So the access is really, really good. And furthermore, just the location in the city of Cape Coral that this is at, you know, we're right down the street from, uh, from downtown Cape Coral from that trendy Southeast uh, 47th Terrace District that's down there. We're right uh, near here at Del Prado. So you're kind of main and main right here. You're, you're very, uh, very short access to things like groceries and shopping and restaurants and things like that. So a great location, an even better location when it comes to the canal and the direct access here. And 755,000 is not a bad price for this house. So this is a pretty good example of what that average mid 700s price buys in the Southeast Cape Coral. You're gonna have great golf access. You're gonna be close to shopping and restaurants and the bridges to Fort Myers, but the homes themselves will usually just be a little bit older than some of the other locations here in Cape Coral. Okay, so from the southeast section of Cape Coral, we're going to head down Cape Coral Parkway over to the southwest section of the Cape so we can see what that average price buys in a great neighborhood of this area of the city. This home is also a three bedroom, two bath, concrete block constructed home, and it's also about the same size as the last one, with just under 2,000 square feet of living area under air conditioning. This one was built in 2001, which is a little more typical age for the Southwest Cape. This home also has a brand new tile roof. However, that newer age in the Southwest location comes with a slightly higher price point, and at 798,000, this property is on the higher side of that average golf access home price. So as soon as you walk in, you can tell this is a much more modern and open layout than that last house. And I absolutely love that huge wall of sliders out back. I think it really brightens up this open living space with all that natural light and water views. The kitchen is kind of no frills, but it does have nice solid surface Corian countertops with that underhung sink, and I really do like the recessed lighting along the upper cabinets there. The primary bedroom has a nice recessed ceiling, and it does have slider access out to that big pool deck, plus that big picture window gives some really great views out to that wide canal out back. I really love those sliders. This is a good sized pool deck. Again, there's a good balance of shaded space under the truss here and sunny areas out by the pool. It was also a great choice to go with the upgraded frameless picture window slider so you get every inch of that unobstructed waterfront view out back. This is a good sized backyard and it's also fenced, which is nice if you've got some puppy dogs. But once again, the majority of the value in this property comes from this golf access waterfront. This is an even wider canal than the last one. And this one comes with this beautiful Trex wraparound dock and boat lift. In terms of the access, we're a little bit farther to open water from here. It would probably take you about 20 minutes by boat to get through the canals, but once you are out to open water from this location, you're right at the mouth of the Caloosahatchee River, meaning this location is much closer to the open Gulf of Mexico than we were at that house in the southeast. So this house was built in 2001, so it's neither really old nor is it brand new. It's kind of right in between of uh, the other two houses that we're looking at today. But the value in this house is its location and this waterfront. This is one of the best canal systems in all of Cape Coral right here. We're only about 20 minutes out to open water, but we're still nice and protected back here. Uh, to my knowledge, none of these homes had any, uh, any flooding during Hurricane Ian a few years ago or a couple years ago. And uh, also just the location of the house itself here in the Southwest. We're right down the street from some of the best dining options in all of Cape Coral. It's still nice and quiet here, but there's some activity relatively close by. We're right down the street from Cape Harbor, uh, which as you know, if you've watched some of my videos, I really enjoy that place. 
Cape Harbor is a great place to go have dinner, uh, either by boat or just, uh, or just by car or even by bicycle. And we're right down the street from that. It's only about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes away by boat from here. So you can swing over there and have a nice dinner on the water and then come back home before it gets dark. Uh, but this is just a really great location. It's, uh, it's neither super quiet nor is it really busy right here. And uh, you know, the traffic's not bad. It's kind of the best of both worlds, but definitely uh, the value in this home is this uh, stunning location. So I think this is a good example of what that average golf access home price buys in an excellent Southwest Cape Coral location. You're gonna normally be a little bit pricier here in many parts of the Southwest, but that extra few dollars is often gonna get you a little bit newer home on a really top-notch golf access canal system like this. Okay, from Cape Coral Parkway, we're gonna head all the way up to the final area we're looking at today, and that is the northwest section of Cape Coral. Uh, as you may know, there are four quadrants of Cape Coral, northwest, northeast, southwest, and southeast, but only the southeast, southwest, and northwest quadrants actually have golf access saltwater canals. I'm excited to show you this one. This is a brand new construction home. It's a three bedroom, two bath, Plus it has a den and it has just over 1,800 square feet of living area inside, plus a beautiful pool and spa package and a dock with a tiki hut. There's nothing like brand new, right? This is a great modern and open floor plan. There's tons of upgrades in here. There's high ceilings, plank tile floors throughout, uh, big eight foot interior doors. The Big Island Kitchen has quartz countertops with tile backsplash and higher-end shaker cabinets. And it also has a walk-in pantry here, which is really nice. The primary suite has slider access out to the pool deck with views over the water, dual split vanities in the primary bathroom with a soaking tub, and this frameless glass walk-in shower with floor-to-ceiling wall tile. Everything in here is just really tastefully done. Out back is the pavered screen lanai, and this one has a heated pool and spa combo. Uh, once again, there's a nice combination of shaded under truss area with the more open, sunny parts of the pool deck, and there's plenty of room back there for an outdoor kitchen or something. Just like that last house, this pool cage is upgraded with the big frameless picture windows to preserve those great water views out back. The canal back here is pretty wide, maybe not quite as wide as the one that we just saw in the southwest, but this one is unrestricted direct golf access. Uh, we're quite a bit farther to open water from here, but there are no bridges to go under to get out. And uh, unlike the southeast and the southwest areas, the golf access homes in the northwest section of Cape Coral go out through the Matt Lachey area instead of the Caloosahatchee River. So I'm definitely not gonna promise you that there are a ton of brand new construction pool homes on golf access canals up here in the Northwest section of Cape Coral or in this mid 700s range, because Lord knows they're not, but there are a few and that's why I wanted to stop by this place. And it was actually kind of tough to get uh, time to come over here because this place has been showing pretty regularly all week. It's pretty popular, but not only is this a brand new construction pool home here in the Northwest Cape on a golf access canal, but it's got a lot of upgrades in it. It's got uh, really beautiful upgraded countertops, quartz countertops. It's got the upgraded uh, uh, custom cabinetry in here. It's got, um, you know, wood grain ceramic tiled floors throughout the entire house. Heck, it even has uh, eight foot interior doors, which are always really nice. Uh, not only that, it has a beautiful pool package on the back of this house. And uh, this one comes with a dock and a tiki hut back there. And usually these new construction homes don't have those docks included with it. So that was nice to see up here. And it's 745,000, it's a pretty good deal for this house. Now, what are the downsides to being up here? Well, number one, we're a little bit farther away from open water. It's probably a solid 45 minutes uh, idling out by boat to get out to open water via Matt Lachey. But that's a really uh, peaceful and serene trip. And it's not that bad having done that probably dozens and dozens of times myself here in the Northwest. 
Um, so we're a little bit farther from open water. Uh, the other thing is we're on a little bit busier split median road up here. Um, now it's not really busy right now, but this area is being developed pretty quickly up here in the northwest and that road's going to get a little bit busier as we get on in years uh, in the future here. Uh, probably the final thing, if there is a downside to this place, we're on well and septic right here in terms of the utilities. Uh, and the utilities or the central utilities aren't going to make it up to this location for quite a while. So we probably got every bit of another 15, 20 years before the city utilities makes it up here. Uh, but those are really the only negative things that I could have, I could find to say about this property. And other than that, it's a really beautiful home on a really beautiful Gulf Access Canal here in Northwest Cape. And at 745000 it's a pretty good price. You know, there are pros and cons to each one of these locations, but I really do like the Northwest. I've lived up here for almost 15 years, and I can really see this area becoming one of the premier locations in Cape Coral. There's just a lot of new things coming into the area. So to be able to come in here and buy a brand new construction pool home for what an average resale costs in those other areas, I think it's a great place to consider calling home. So there you go, hopefully that gives you a better idea of what the median average price looks like for a golf access home in these different areas of Cape Coral. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, reach over and hit the like button because it just helps me out a little bit. And again, if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you on as a subscriber. So reach over and hit that subscribe button so you can be around for these videos every single week. Uh, with that being said, uh, thank you so much for being here and for your time. And I'll see you in the next video here in just a few days. Yeah. <laughs>